So here at Bay Point Landing, uh, we paid about $55 a night. We picked one of the back end sites that goes up against the wooded area um, instead of having a bay view. Um, we got that rate because it was the weekly rate. You had to stay seven nights or longer. Uh, otherwise, I think it was $68 a night. Um, you, you have the option to choose your site, but it's an extra $5 a night to do so. You can pick it online. Um, we just decided to let them choose our site for us. So uh, we're gonna go ahead there now, and see what it looks like. We got so lucky with the weather. The drive-in was an absolute nightmare with rain. Hey, look at this. They got, you could just sit out here with oh, yeah. fire pits and stuff. And they've got that, their front desk and store right here where you can actually get drinks, um, beers. They have s'more kits. They got all kinds of Bottles camping of stuff. Yeah, balls of wine. Oh, I see mayo, mustard, ketchup. So all the good, so. You forgot something. All right, so the sites are pretty level. Uh, but not 100 percent at least not in the section we are so we had to put down blocks uh, just had to put a single block on the left side that should uh, hopefully even us out all right so one block and we are perfectly level that was one thing with the campers campers are allowed but they have to stay attached to your rig um, there's no tents allowed no pop-ups so like our big clam tent or even just you know a coleman pop-up tent those are not allowed here um, no sleeping in your car no tents in the back of your truck um, and no, just pop-up trailers. So the little tow-behind tow pop-up trailers are not allowed. Oh, look at these. Oh, wow. Cool. Look at all their treasures. Look at all that. That is quite the catch. Yeah. Hey, check this out. If you're in this site, here's your table. Here's your, your fire, fire pit. pit. And then this is your view out into the bay. Here's their cabins. You can see they overlook the bay out there and then they got their own little fire pits, chairs, picnic table. So they look super nice. Look at that. And so you see the bed back oh, there? Yeah. With oh a TV. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Little couch and they got the fire thing. Oh yeah, fire starter kit. Okay, so here's something interesting about this place. They've got a line of, I don't know, probably 30, maybe more, Airstreams that you can rent. So these are owned by this resort and you can literally just rent an Airstream. So if you don't have a trailer and you wanna rent one, here you go. All right, so those little Airstreams behind us, what do they run? It's 234 if you wanted one tonight. 234 per night. It's Saturday night, so on the weekend, $234. How much were the little cabins? The cabins were 335. And that was for the smaller one, I think you said. Or did, are they the I same? think they're all the same. So how much was it tonight? 335. $335 a night. Okay, so maybe. Ooh. Maybe a Best Western is. <laughs> you know, it's funny, there's a lot of people in those little cabins. Yeah. Um, we were just talking about how it is kind of cool to be able to come and stay in something like this, be able to have a fire and then some privacy versus staying in a hotel, but 300 some dollars a night, though, that's right. pretty steep. So Seems like they thought of just about everything here. Because on the other side of where those airstreams were, they've got these big, giant-sized lots where you've got place for pull through but then a whole extra spot for a whole nother vehicle so just in case you got an extra long with the tow vehicle they've got pretty much everything here don't they yeah. and they, they did have signs all over the website talking about we are big rig friendly and you see how wide it is i mean so it's you know, easy backing in yeah. anyway. I'm not, we're not big uh we're not big on rv parks usually we like to stay in state parks yeah uh, but this one's pretty nice that's why they charge you what they charge you. Very well maintained. Yeah. So they have a food cart on site. That's pretty awesome. They said they'll actually deliver to your lot or they'll actually deliver to your spot up until 10 p.m. at night. So you don't have to cook. You can just order from the food cart and they'll literally just bring it to your spot. So these are the sites we're in. These are the ones that back up against the forest area here. Not a lot of privacy as you can see, but we paid forty-five or $55 a night, uh, but we stayed for a week. So had you done a nightly rate, it comes out to what, 70, 65? Um, so full hookups, so $65 a night, full hookups. Uh, but the issue is, as you can see, is you have zero privacy. I mean, you are pretty much right on top of one another. 
common though for an RV park, not any different than any other RV park you'd stay in, but just be aware that you're not gonna get a lot of privacy. If you're okay with that, it's awesome for big rigs, that's for sure. Luckily, we have a smaller trailer, only 24 feet, so we could fit into state parks and what have you with privacy. And some of these guys, unfortunately, they don't have that option. Oh, nice. Go ahead and go in there. This is the activity room. This place is insane. Oh, it smells good in here. It does. Whoa, look at this place. Look at this. Look at this place. This is awesome. And look at this. Oh, they're, and they're a right nice there. shuffleboard. I'll be spending some time in here. Candyland, oh, Pictionary. Candyland? Who wants to play that mess? The puzzle, Monopoly. That's a good question. What's your guys' favorite board game when you're camping? Kim and I bought Exploding Kittens last night. <laughs> I can try it. So what's your favorite board game? Look at this here. Scrabble. Dude, your mom's going to love that. Yeah. You can use chalk and write your letter. Dude, but look at this. You can actually, like, they've got these big, giant oh, things. Oh, they're magnets. So this here is the pool at Bay Point Landing. So yeah, you might pay a little bit more per night to stay here, but they have some pretty cool amenities if you're looking for uh, something fun to do. It's really warm in here, so if it's a cold night, you can come in here. I don't think it's like heated to like that jacuzzi or anything, but it's still pretty nice. I work out. Oh gosh, it smells weird in here. Dang, check out the view you can get while you're working out. Just eating dinner. Cook some good old steaks on the barbie. And look at this big old barge coming through. What's funny, you can actually walk out there barefoot for about 50 yards. So that thing has got to be near some shallow, shallow water. But of course, it's okay where it's at. It's got to be deep enough, but yeah, that's cool. One nice thing about Bay Point Landing uh, this RV resort is that you can just come right down on the beach area, the bay area, and they've got these tankers that just come through a couple times a day. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. Today, it hasn't been this way all week, but every once in a while on the Oregon coast, you get these beautiful sunsets. So you have this boat coming through, which is awesome, right as the sun's setting. And you got the Coast Guard out here. And then look at these pylons with the sun setting. It's absolutely beautiful out here. Just about every single spot in this park is taken up. But can you blame them when you get a view like that? Uh, overall, what'd you think? It's a nice place to stay. It was mm -hmm. actually really quiet. I mean, even though the sites are on top of each other, there weren't any like loud partiers. But I think that kind of goes with, you know, RV resort, little mm -hmm. little higher end, uh, you know, cost more to stay here. So. Plus, it's just, you know, they've got people monitoring this thing uh, kind of 24 7. They've got a couple of folks that, just like in the state park, they stay here. And so, um, yeah, quiet time, 10 o'clock, everything was pretty good. The sites, like I said, it's an RV park, so they are close. We're used to having a little bit more privacy uh, when we camp. So I asked Kim if she'd come back, and she said, yeah, she would. So um, that's good enough for me. A lot of amenities, though, for what you pay for. Um, really nice sites, uh, pretty level for the most part. We did have to get up on blocks on one side, but the sites are pretty level. The uh, fire pits are really nice. They got a pool, uh, which is super cool. The fact that they got a really nice pool that overlooks the bay. Uh, if you can get a bayfront view, those are pretty awesome. Uh, you guys probably saw some of the sunsets, which were pretty epic. And then um, just like bocce ball, um, what's the other? Oh, shuffleboard. Shuffleboard. Yeah, shuffleboard table. And, yeah. Lots of little quiet areas mm -hmm. if you wanted to work or um, they had a kid's den, so I'm sure they had yeah. kids' movies in there. So, right. Yeah, lots yep. of lots of things to do here. Pretty enjoyable uh, stay altogether. Coos Bay itself, that was that was the issue. Is the Coos Bay is not the best town, but if you're coming here just to camp and not worrying about going into town, that's one thing. Um, and then if you want to go out and do stuff, 
you got to kind of get around if you fish or whatever then yeah you can't beat this place but if you're looking for like a lot of hiking mountain biking um paddleboarding i guess you can do some paddleboarding but you got to get out a ways to or do if some you of have stuff. a toy hauler and you haul your toys with you your yeah. atvs right across um, the, the way sand dunes are right across the bay yep anyway hope you enjoyed see you next time yeah